Good evening, everyone. With the release of Path of Building for Path of Exile 2, I thought it would be relevant to show everyone how to set up Path of Building using Wine so that you're not trying to install it through Steam because you're going to probably be running Path of Exile 2 through Steam and you can only run one game in Steam at a time. So it'd be easier to just set it up using Wine so you can use both applications at the same time. So let's go ahead and download Path of Building. I'll show you where to get it. And then uh, we'll set it up in Wine and then we'll launch it and we'll launch Path of Exile 2 and I'll show you how to copy and paste stuff, make sure everything works. So uh, what you wanna do is you wanna go to GitHub, Path of Building Community, Path of Building dash PoE2 releases. Here's the directory. All the, uh, all the URL links and all the commands I'm going to use are going to be in the description. So feel free to just grab it there. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to download it to a folder. Any folder will do. When you download this, do not download the setup. You don't need to run the Windows setup and all of that. We're just going to do the portable. That's going to be, it's already fully compiled. It's going to be in a directory. So we're just going to download it, throw it in a directory. And then we're just going to set up Wine to use that directory. So we're going to download the portable zip. We're going to put it in a folder. I made a folder called POB in my SSD, like Evo 2 drive, but any drive will do. All right. So we got the file right here. This is the old version that I had. I just renamed it so we could just redo this. Extract here. All right. If you notice, it's already there. The whole program is here. Okay. We're not going to mess with this directory. We're going to leave this directory the way it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a directory to throw our wine prefix in. So when you make a prefix, it basically makes like a fake C drive. It links all the DLLs. It sets up like kind of a, a fake registry. So the program can run and think it's in Windows when it's not. Okay. So we're just going to make a folder in this drive. Now, this is in the file folder that I downloaded it to, not in the portable folder. Okay. And I'm just going to call it prefix, PRFX. Okay. You can also do it like here if you want to create a folder and name it that way. I just MKDIR prefix. Now what we want to do is we want to grab the directories that we're using. Okay. So I'm just copying it. You can get it from down here. You can do this and copy however you want to do it. Okay. So we grab the directory. And we know prefix is the actual directory, right? I can even do it this way. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run wine config. So it builds out all the files. Um, and that should get it to at least build everything out in the location. All right. So it's just basically setting up a fake windows, windows environment in there in the prefix folder. And I just make sure it's like Windows 10. I don't really think there's any libraries you need. And you don't have to do anything special. I just left everything default. Right? And you just hit OK. All right. That's it. Now, if we look at the prefix folder, it's got a drive C. Look at that. It's got like, like a system registry. There's all kinds of stuff there. So basically, that's allowing the executable to read your directory. Now, there's another step here that I ran into, and that is if I tried to run the, the, the executable, the path of building file, uh, I found that I needed to change it to executable. So we're going to do that real quick. So the name of the file that you're actually going to be running is going to be path of building poe2.exe. Okay, that is the name of the file. And what I want to do is I want to change the program so it has executable permissions. So we're just going to use chmod to do that. So it's going to be chmod plus x. And then we need directory of the file, right? And this one, we're going to need quote marks around it. Because the name of the file has a space in it. Okay. And the name of the file is going to be path of building. I don't know why they named it that, but it is what it is. Path of building 
dash poe2.exe. Okay? We're going to change that to executable. That's all we got to do. All right. Now, all we need to do is run your path of building executable. And what we need to do is reference our prefix. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're just going to tell it to want run our run wine with this prefix. So you just say wine prefix equals, and it's that directory, which is the fake windows directory. And this part here is just the executable you're gonna run. And you could turn this into a batch file. You could make a shortcut in your menu, whatever you wanna do. Uh, but we're just going to run this just like this. I'm going to copy it. And we're just going to run it. And let's see what happens. And voila, we have path to building. And everything's working. You can click your buttons, right? Change the build name. New folder. All, everything works. Go to skills, you go to items, and you can even cut and paste items, right? So now let's go ahead and get into Path of Exile 2, and let's see if this all works, so we can cut and paste and everything. All right. So if I wanted to copy an item, as you can see, we got Path of Building open. Super cool. Cannot do this yet because there's no API. Go to tree and everything's there. Let's go to items. Okay. And just highlight an item. Control C, just like you would in Windows. Look at that. Copy and paste the item right in the path of building. So you can save your character, everything works. Um, this allows you to run the program, uh, build everything out and then start testing path of building too. So there you have it, folks. That's how you do it. Everything's good. Um, if you have any questions or problems, just let me know. Uh, and thanks for watching.